everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I just notice every time I say my name is Nona Grace, I kind of tip my head. <laughs> I do. It's like it's me. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, today I had a um, rather, the day went really fast. You know, when you're retired, time just flies. And, you know, they used to say that the old timers always said that. Um, the time went super fast and we as kids would think oh my goodness the time is dragging we would be um, waiting for the time the hour to pass and the hour in there's mine was like five minutes it went by fast well that's how the days go it's already the weekend and I cannot believe the weekend is here my grandkids are going to come so Bob I plan to boil my peanuts tomorrow yeah because um, the kids are coming around, I think they're coming around 1 o'clock. And so then we'll put the peanuts in the kettle and get things going. And by they'll be here Sunday, so Sunday they'll get to eat some peanuts with me. And I will, I will eat them on, on the video because my face will never lie. <laughs> You'll know whether I really like it or not by the way my, my face does. Although I might have a thinking face for a moment and then you'll know, so I don't know. Well, today I also was watching, um, I watched Blue Bike and Doyle, the Blue Bike and Doyle. I forgot the last time. But anyways, Doyle did a video where he talked about John Henry. And as soon as he said John Henry, a song came to my mind, and it's not the real John Henry song, although it may be the John Henry tune. Oh, I remember now what it was I was thinking of earlier because it just came back, but I can't think how it goes. Um, uh, the the um, about the school, no school today, no school. <laughs> I'll write it down because otherwise I'll um, forget what the heck, and maybe the maybe that will. The rest of it will come to my mind. But anyways, he was talking about John Henry. And when he said John Henry, you know, we sang the song in school. And I remember it quite well. But as kids, you know how kids do, like even Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, they change the words. And they make things different. Well, we did that with John Henry. And John Henry, and for those of you that don't know who John Henry was, John Henry was... Um, he worked on the railroad, and he was uh, uh, he would drive the nail, the steel into the rail, and he was up against a steam engine. I think that's good enough to. I don't know the real history history of it, but I know the little story that we were told. And um, the steam engine was coming in where they could uh, put down the rails faster, and he said that he could do the rails. He could pound faster than the machine. Well, John Henry did go faster than the machine. Unfortunately, he died at the very end. He didn't make it. So he would pick, he, in the song, it goes, he picked up a hammer and a little piece of steel. And the part that I know was, is different. I will, say, I, will, I will sing the part I know. Now, also today I watched Mike on um, Carnomad, and he sang a song, and he says he can't sing very good. Well, I think you did pretty darn good for someone who thinks they can't sing. I know I can't sing either, but I'm going to sing anyways because I just like to do it. So it goes like this. John Henry was a little baby sitting on his daddy's knee. Well, his daddy picked him up and put him on the floor and said, this baby done wet on me. And that's not the real words to it, but that's the words we sang. Then there was um, the one about the school. I can't think of it yet. Um, Hit her in the beam with a rotten tangerine. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Um, yeah, I don't oh, if you want to get your teacher out of the door, you just... No, wait. Let's see. How the heck's it go? I'm Ch Oh, I'm Chiquita Banana, and I'm here to say if you want to get your teacher out of the way, you just peel a banana and throw it on the floor and watch your teacher go sailing out the door. Da-da-da. <laughs> Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Or you can hit her in the bean with a rotten tangerine. <laughs> Those were the things we used to say. Oh, my goodness. Um, there was other stuff that the kids would say. I remember on the bus, if your kids ride the bus, they hear a lot of stuff. I rode the bus, and I was on the bus for a good 45 minutes, so I heard a lot of things. And, 
um, when I was younger, let's see, the kindergartners came home with the high schoolers and the first graders came home with the high schoolers. Now they don't do that. Now, they've, now they're on a, a different bus. They're with a younger group of kids. But we came home on the high, with the high school, so we heard a lot of stuff. And I know a lot of kids, they hear a lot of bad language, and they would come home with the bad language. Well, we were smart enough to know you don't, come, you don't use that bad language. You would get yourself a tate, which is a spanking, and you didn't want that spanking. Um, there was something else I was thinking of today that had something to do with Italian. I don't remember. Oh, it's so sad. You know, I, I really need to start writing these things down. I have notebooks everywhere. But when it comes time to, to actually write it down, I say, oh, I'll do it when I, a little later. A little later is too late because then I've forgotten. Today I was also um, crocheting again. <laughs> I know it's in my blood right now and yesterday I showed you the two bra the two bracelets one two there's two here whoops yep and today I did another one so now there's now I have three whoops there you go three and that's not enough in my mind I'm working on a whoa I just lost the darn stitch again it, th that's the problem with these. This is uh, this, th working on the next one. I just made it bloop out of the out of the um, crochet hook, and it's like it's so dark in that little area where the spider would, where the mouth is, the the where I think of it. Oh, I can't do it right here with you guys watching me. I will never get it. But anyway, and I also watched. Now this one was good. It was very interesting because it was so different. I was watching the Baking Diva, and she made a water pie, which was, water pie. yeah, a water pie. I know. That was like a water pie? Hmm. Well, I watched and was anxious to see what this water pie was going to look like. It actually turned out good. She, she ate it, ate some of it, and you could tell by her face that it was good. So apparently it was a tasty pie, but it was made a water pie. Water pie. <laughs> yeah, there's, I guess, a collab going on where there's people making pies, and she was um, talking about how a lot of them were making just the regular kind of pies. And she had a cookbook that she bought that she says that she really didn't need another cookbook, but you know how it is. You, when you like to bake or cook, you see a book, and it's like, oh, this is interesting. It's like, it's like a reading book to those that like to to bake and cook yeah so they feel like they want the book and it happened to have a water pie in that and so that's what she made she made a water pie so if you want to see what that water pie was you'd have to watch the baking diva if you want to hear the story about John Henry you got to watch the blue bike and Doyle which I will put their links in below so you can find them it makes it so much easier I like it when people put the links in because a lot of times you type their name in, and if you don't type it just so, you can't find them. Or they may spell it a little different, like um, ketchup is a word that it really is spelled different. And all, every time you, it could be a cat's up, or it could be ketchup, it could be, who knows how they spelled it. Could be a K, could be a C, C could be... Right, it's, it's crazy how they spell it. Um, so that's... It's nice when the when the link is below. I like it when the link is below. Well, and I also watched a lot of Nina's videos. Nina's doing really good. I didn't want to watch her videos when I knew she was going in for surgery. Why? Because I get a little bit nervous, and it makes me happy to see when they're happy and they're doing really good. Then I will go back, and I already know the story. It's like reading a book that's very suspenseful you don't want to read it or watching a um, murder show or something on TV that is really scary and you're hoping and praying that it has a happy ending well I like to see the happy ending and then I'll go back and see the the scary part because then it's not scary because I already know this ending is happy so that's why um, what I did today I actually watched a bunch of those just to catch up because it's scary
when you don't know when it's it's and that was real life and real life things really that you don't know and so it's like I just wanted to wait and see so I did the wait and see thing so I'm so glad Nina is much better she was she had lots of happy mail that she opened today and that was great and then I, there was others that I watched you know in there and I also watched oh gosh I watched so many I won't name them all because then I got to put all these links in there and I don't feel like doing that it's a challenge <laughs> that I don't want to tackle so uh, that's it for today I will talk to you all again tomorrow you have a great weekend and I'll see you tomorrow bye bye